All right, we're going to talk about triangles, and first we're going to classify these triangles. We're going to classify them by their angles and by their sides. They've got two classifications. The angle classifications are acute, obtuse, and right. The common misconception is that all the angles have to be this, but every triangle has to have two acute angles. You can't draw a triangle otherwise. I'll show you in a second trying to draw it without it. Um, these classifications are just talking about the third angle, that final angle. Is it another acute angle? Is it an obtuse angle? Or is it a right angle? Okay. And then the sides, we have scaling, which means none of them are the same. We have isosceles, which means two of them are the same. And then we have equilateral, which is obviously all of them are the same. Okay. All right. So the first one we have up here, it looks ABC. It almost looks um, equilateral, but it's actually not. I have the measurements. I went ahead and measured all the different sides. And they're all different, okay? And all the angles are clearly acute, right? They're all definitely less than 90 degrees. So I'm going to call this acute scaling. So this is an like acute scaling triangle. Our next one, we have these two sides are the same, right? I measured them, they're the same, okay? So that makes it isosceles. The bottom is clearly a lot less. And again, all our angles are acute. So this is acute isosceles. And those little tick marks are used to show that those two sides are equal to each other. All right, down here on DEF, angle E here is clearly obtuse, right? And all the sides are definitely different, so this is an obtuse scaling. And our final one, we have angle I here, is clearly a right angle. It measures 90 degrees, okay? So this is a right scaling, because again, all the sides are different, okay? So we have all the angles represented. The only sides one we didn't have is the equilateral. Talk about that in a minute, but equilateral triangle would look like this. All three sides would be equal, and it'll always have to have acute angles, all of it. Okay, so remember how I told you you can never have a triangle with two obtuse or two right angles. Because just picture it if I have an obtuse angle, if I draw another obtuse angle, I can't connect the triangle. The only way I can connect the triangle is if I go like this, and that has to be two acute angles. So you can never have more than one obtuse or more than one right angle in a triangle. Okay. So that's the different classifications for your triangles. Let's start talking about the angles now. There we go. All right, so we have a triangle here, and we have the measurement of two of its angles. It's not drawn to scale. But the important piece of information to know is that triangles add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so triangles equal 180 degrees, okay? Their angles on the inside. You know that, it makes this problem pretty easy. So if that's 120 and that's 20, if I add that up, that's 140. So that makes this angle down here have to be 40 degrees to make it equal 180 altogether, okay? Clearly not drawn to scale, but you get the idea, okay? So as long as you have two angles, you can find the third one if it's a triangle because it has to equal 180, okay? So let's look at the next example. Move my little writing here. So first of all, let's look at this. What type of triangle is it? So what information does it give us that tips us off to what type of triangle it is? Notice these little hash marks here, okay? So that means those two sides are equal, which means it's an isosceles triangle, okay? Now, not only are two of the sides equal in isosceles, you might guess, because right now you don't have enough information, that these two base angles are also congruent. Okay, so let's write this down. So these are called base angles. They're at the bottom of the little legs. Okay, these are called the legs, the sides that are congruent to each other. Okay, and the base angles are congruent, just like the legs are congruent. Okay, so everything's equal. So that means that if this is x over there, this is also x. Okay. So we know that the triangle adds up to 180, so I'm going to go ahead and use that to help me figure it out because that means x plus x plus 25 equals 180, okay? So 2x plus 25 equals 180. If I take away 25, doing crazy kind of math here. 
losing my mind. Actually, borrowing is usually helpful. <laughs> One fifty by. There we go. Knew we could do it. All right. And last step. Let's go ahead and divide it out because it's kind of weird to leave a um, angle measurement as a fraction. So let's see. Seven times fourteen. Seven fourteen. Seventy-seven point five degrees. Okay, so each of those base angles is 77.5. You can double check your work by adding it up, 77.5 plus 77.5 plus 25, and you'll get 180. Okay, all right, let's keep going with this. Our triangle angle measurements. All right, what type of triangle is this? So I told you we'd come and talk about this. So we have all three are equal to each other. All three sides are the same. So that means this is an equilateral triangle. Okay. Now, what you might guess, just like before, the two base angles were equal. In this case, all three angles are equal. Okay. So that means all three angles, the three x's, equal 180. So if you solve this, you get the x is 60. So that's important to remember. Because you actually don't even really need to do math. As soon as you see that all three sides are the same, you instantly know that each angle is 60 degrees, and it's always 60 degrees. So equilateral triangles, their angles are always 60 degrees. There's no other way for them to be anything if the triangle is going to add up to 180 and all their angles are equal. Okay, so equilateral angles equal 60, no matter what. It's always true for equilateral triangles. Okay. So that's going to be an important thing to remember, too. It saves some math. It is helpful for figuring out things. Okay, so let's use all of this information we've just gathered to figure out some missing angle problems. All right, so take a look at this one and see if you can use what you know. Okay, so remember all the things we know at this point. I'm going to make a little list. We have vertical angles. We have um, corresponding Complementary, we have supplementary. Um, now we have triangles equal 180. We have isosceles triangles, the base angles are congruent. And we have equilateral, they're all 60 degrees. Okay, remember vertical is congruent, corresponding is congruent, complementary is 90. Supplementary is 180. Okay, so that's our little cheat sheet over there. So try and use that to figure out what X and Y is. Remember, you need a reason for everything. You can't just say it looks like it's this many degrees. You have to have one of those reasons why. So hit play when you think you figured it out, and we'll check your work. All right, so we have two triangles here. I'm going to start with this bottom triangle because it gives me 25 and 90. Okay, so I can use that to figure out this other angle right here. Even though it's not X or Y, I'm going to use it to figure out the next step. Okay. So if that's 25, that means this one has to be um, 75. Sorry, 65. I'm clearly very tired. My mental math is not going well for me on this video. All right, so we have 65. So that, we just use the um, angles, sorry, the triangles add up to 180, right? That's what we use to figure that out. All right, now we use vertical angles. So this 65 is vertical to x. Do you see that? I run the common vertex. So that means x is 65. X equals 65. So that was just vertical angles. And then we're going to use the triangles add up to 180 again because now we know 65 and 90. And so that means the Y is going to have to be 25 to equal 180. Okay. So we use two of our tools from our little toolbox over here. We use the angles of a triangle add up to 180 and vertical angles are congruent. Okay. All right. Let's leave a little cheat sheet here for the next one. Move our instructions so we can read them. All right, so go ahead and pause it. Try to figure this one out on your own. Use your little cheat sheet over here of all the information we know. This is all you need to be able to do it. And then hit play to see how you did. Okay, so the first thing, and if you didn't notice this, you would have been pretty stuck. You got to notice that all of these are equal to each other. Okay, so we have two triangles, and both of them are isosceles triangles. Okay, so remember that means that the base angles are congruent. Now, this triangle on the left here, these are the two legs, these two. So that means this one and this one are the base angles. So if that's 42, then this is 42. Okay, so that's the first thing you had to figure out, because otherwise you couldn't get very far without doing that. 
Next, I'm going to use the triangles add up to 180. Because if this is 42 and this is 42, that's 84. So that makes it down here equal 96. Okay, so I have all three angles of this triangle. Okay, still haven't figured out x and y, but a lot of times you have to figure out all the other angles before you get to the very last one. Okay. All right, next we're going to use a new one. I'm going to use supplementary. So remember, supplementary is that straight line split in the two different angles. Here it is right here. We have a nice straight line here split with a 96 and x. So if this is 96, that means x has to be 84. Okay, so I have x is 84. All right, so if x is 84, now I'm into this triangle over here. I'm kind of done with the one on the left. Again, it's isosceles. Here are the two legs. So if this is 84, this base angle, remember using the base angles are congruent, is also 84. And again, I'm going to use the triangles add up to 180. So 84 and 84 is 168. So that would make this y 12 degrees up here. Okay. So we use these three tools. We first did the base angles of isosceles triangles are congruent. Okay. Then we use angles of triangle up to 180. Then we use this fancy little supplementary thing down here. That's the one people miss a lot, so make sure you notice that. And then we use the angles add up again. Okay. All right. Leave our little cheat sheet up here again for our next one. It's like little puzzles you got to figure out. All right, so let's read this. Make it so we can read it with our cheat sheet on at the same time. All right, one of the acute angles of a right triangle has a measure that is twice as great as the other. What are the measures of the three angles of the triangle? Okay, so we're given a lot of information. So it's one of the acute angles of a right triangle. So first of all, I'm just going to draw a picture of a right triangle. So there's a right triangle. So I know that's 90. It says one of the acute angles. It doesn't say which one. Um, measures twice as great as the other. So we're talking about these other two angles. So if it's twice as much as the other, I'm going to make one of them x and one of them 2x, right? And this one's obviously 90. Because we have one measures that is twice the other one. Okay, so does everyone see where I got the x and the 2x? What are the measures of the three angles? So remember, we know that all three angles, 90 plus x plus 2x, has to equal 180. Because the angles of a triangle add up to 180, okay? So 90 plus, this would be 3x all together equals 180. Take away the 90. You have 90. Do a reciprocal and you get x is 30, okay? So that means this angle right here is 30 degrees and that would then be 60. So our three angle measurements are 30 60, and obviously 90, because it's a right triangle, and they told us that, okay? So when you're reading these problems, just pull out any information they give you, draw yourself pictures, um, think about your little cheat sheet of information that you know that can help you figure out what is what. All right, so let's try another one. Move my little, oh. All right, might have to erase the cheat sheet. All right, so go ahead and pause this one and try this one on your own and then hit play um, to check your work. So we know the angles all measure up to 180, so I'm just going to add it all up. I have 2x, I have 2x, I have 3x, so that's 7x all together. Plus the 40 that was already there equals 180. Because remember, triangles add up to 180. And then just do it out. So when I do this out, I end up getting x is 20. So none of them are just x, so this is 3x, so that would be 60. This would be 40. This would be 40 plus 40, so that's 80. So there's our three angle measurements. All right, our last one. Pause and see if you can figure this one out, and then um, hit play and we'll go over it together. So this one, they tell us they're isosceles. That's what you had to notice. So if this one's 2x, this one's also 2x. So that was the trick for this one, okay? So all together we have 2x, 2x, and x. So that's 5x plus 20 equals 180. So then 5x equals 160. So x equals 32. So that makes this 64 degrees. This is also 64 degrees. And this is 52 degrees.